Hey, what's up, Mama? What are calcium channel blockers? Oh, calcium channel blockers, that's pretty easy. There are certain medications. They're considered antihypertensives, which means they're given to people that their blood pressure is high, meaning 140 over 90 or above. And calcium channel blockers, what they do is they relax smooth muscles of the blood vessels and they cause them to dilate, therefore they're reducing the blood pressure. Um, there's a couple of things you guys got to know about calcium channel blockers. First of all, calcium stimulates muscle contractility by pushing, by opening certain cell channels, the calcium goes inside the cell, it increases polarity, and that causes an action potential and all this other cool stuff, right? But what you guys need to know is that calcium excites muscles. And so when blood vessel muscles get excited, they constrict and that causes high blood pressure. When you give a calcium channel blocker, it blocks the calcium from entering the, the cells via the channels, and that reduces blood pressure by relaxing the blood vessels and they open up, and thus hypotension or a, reduced in, a reduction in hypertension occurs. What you guys got to know also is that most calcium channel blockers, except for verapamil and deltiazem, they all end in depine, such as amlodipine, nephetipine. And what you guys have to know is that, imagine my hand is like a blood vessel wall, right? And so what happens is as the blood vessel wall dilates, it opens up and you get these little gaps. And sometimes some water might escape from the blood vessels to the tissues and that can cause some swelling. And that's an important consideration that students have to know about calcium channel blockers. So remember, they all end in depine, at least most of them, amlodipine, nephetipine, and we also have diltiazem and verapamil that are considered calcium channel blockers, but they do not end in depine. And those are one of those drugs where you're not supposed to consume any grapefruit juice because it cancels out a particular enzyme that the liver secretes, which breaks down or metabolizes certain drugs. And that might cause abnormality in the absorption of the calcium channel blockers.